but there he is back again. Referee Kenny Clark, remember, referee suffered nerves too, but I can tell you these are accentuated today because for the first time ever, his wife has decided to come and watch him refereeing a football match. <laughs> that should make for very interesting conversation at the dinner table tonight. I think his wife will be a little friendlier than we've been towards him in the past. I was going to say, Archie, I'd like to get a single camera on her just in case she starts shouting at him. Off we go into the 54th League Cup final. Reset. Stab room. Taken away by Big Horst. Jackie McNamara, who's been quite outstanding for Celtic this season. Tremendous foraging runs on the right-hand side, as he did against Rangers recently. Now, Tommy Boyd, as I said, the only survivor from the last time these clubs met in this competition five years ago game played at Ibrox of course Big Horst right in the middle is Milby John Stern there's Biduka almost got his freedom well, he gets a free kick there, but immediately, Alan, you saw the ability he has to slip around an opponent. Yeah, he did. He just got in in front of Russell Anderson. Russell having to bundle him over. Almost momentum really taking him in, but we're just sure he'll have to make sure he doesn't give him a couple of yards. And this is the first. Could be half chance for Celtic already. Well, Morabti, perfectly capable of curling a ball in, even from this distance, but uh, it may be laid away across to the left-hand side of the box. Little dab forward there, Viduka. Trying to take that with his chest, and Aberdeen had everybody behind the ball. WLB. Little touch there. I think uh, Viduka might even have got a touch himself. Jim Layton, 41 years of age, played in all the cup finals, FA, European, Scottish, League Cups. And coming back on to good form again. Little run forward there by Andy Dow, who's your man of the match up at uh, Tannadice in the semi-final. Yeah, I was impressed with Andy Dow. Very, very top work rate. Even, I mean, he's actually playing on the left-hand side. You've just seen him come across two players into the right wing for Aberdeen. They're guaranteed 100% and guaranteed a big work rate for him. And they'll need to do it today, Archie. Ian Jess. Well, this start from good interception there by Boyd. I think the ball just kept it. Boyd. Well, when that ball came to Bernard, I thought he might just have lost possession. There he is again. Flicked across there by Solberg. A reset. Zenu Ali did come in very quickly. Yes! Just a little bit predictable that though. Zenu Ali. Over he goes with a 1 2 attempt to Zenu Ali. Well, he went down, wriggling his way through there, but it's no chance of the penalty, which he was half heartedly appealing for. Nevertheless, Archie, great play by Zenu Ali. Very, very tricky. It certainly wasn't a penalty, but I thought for one minute the ball was just going to break to him in the box. Well, that's all Tommy Boy could do. Here's Zero Alley. Little will of the wisp. Trying to get that little one two there from Jess. Well, a lot of jersey pulling going on by Mahe. No doubt about that. But I think his momentum more than anything else was causing that. I'll tell you something else which is very notable. Oh, well, there's Zero Ali. I think that ball had swerved behind for a goal kick, but the little man, the little Moroccan, already making an impact on this game. The other thing, of course, Archie is, this is the one that came across, I think the ball, the ball just went out. But interesting, when we were talking about Zero Ali against London United, he started on the right-hand side. And interesting today, he's been on the left-hand side. We've already seen him take the ball off a of reset. I think he is their weak link in the Celtic team. Johnston, almost got away there. Well, 
Well, certainly playing with the two strikers up front there, which many people said they really ought to have done and they could have from the start against Rangers. Cerevali, just beyond Ian Jess. Now, Vikos. Viduka. Also, Landerson, very promising young fullback. Many people think he'll move into central defence in the future. Just the way by Anderson again. Look of determination about this Aberdeen side at the moment. Mahi has the pace, I think. Goal kick. Well, there might have been a, a little bit of a grumble there from the Aberdeen players about this challenge. Again, the jersey being pulled. No question. Well, they certainly could have. I think either of them could be looking for a foul there. I think that no one actually got a touch in the ball. Stephen Mahe. Taken off by Kenny Dalglish in the, the last game at Parkhead, but that explosive volcanic temperament of his looked to be getting the better of him. Boyd looking into the rather pale sun that we have at Hamden Park at the moment. Well, way by Mjolby. Well, given what Celtic have done to Aberdeen this season already, Tommy Boyd must, uh, Tommy Burns must realise that Aberdeen have actually had a very good start to this game, a confident start. Absolutely, that's exactly what I was thinking about there in midfield. They've managed to pick up a lot of second balls. So far, really, Celtic have been going from back to front, very unlike them rather than through the middle. And I think Ibs Gobda will be quite happy, although a long, long way to go yet, only playing six and a half minutes. Well, Zerelli was coming back, and consequently, the linesman didn't put his flag up. But then when he turned and went in the opposite direction, the flag had to go up. There's a gentleman, soft-spoken, uh, any time I've spoken to him, but apparently um, can throw things about the dressing room as well, as his <laughs> very famous predecessor was very skilled. Good fight. Perry, little ball round there. Well, Stavrum is hovering down this uh, right-hand side. Aberdeen are competing. It's exactly what they're doing. They're putting Jess and Stavrum. Every time any Celtic defender gets on it, they're shutting them down very, very quickly. And so far, it's working. Not any fluency to the Celtic ball from back to middle, middle to front yet. That's played by McAllister. Now, oh, McNamara, we haven't seen much of him in the match so far. To the outside, Viduka might just get hold of this. That's a very good tackle by Silberg. Wasted by that ball from defence, so they really have to keep possession in positions like that. Uh, Boyd. Well, that long through ball hasn't operated for Celtic so far. That's what they've been trying to do. I mean, Tommy should know better if he's going to play it into the front man. Although I think initially. Tommy Johnson went to go near and didn't go for the long one. Launching a high one down there again. Well, I think the boot was up. Again, Archie Aberdeen just picking up that second ball. Um, Yolbe going into the heart of defence. Right on the edge of the penalty area. I think Sweet is very, very good in the air, of course. Should be taken by Andy Dow, or perhaps Zero Ali might make a pop at it. No, it's Dow. And across, and there's a first touch by Jonathan Gould. And every goalkeeper likes his first long, hard look at the ball in a cup final. That was his. will be playing it down this uh, reset and I think a slight deflection 
Well, reset and Bahia on the other side, perfectly capable of explosive burst down the flanks. So far, they've been very reticent. Paduka, look at the strength of the man of the ball again. I think he was impeded, he'll get a free kick. Indeed, I think uh, Kenny Clark is going to have a word with the, the players about this. Well, Jimmy McAllister has seen that Viduka has got a hold of his shot. A little bit of six and a half a dozen there. Viduka not too happy using his shoulder. He already spoke about having a decent right back. I think in Jimmy McAllister, Aberdeen have a real gem at left back. Every time I've seen him, he's in a very good game. He was just making sure Viduka knew he was going to be there. Free kick. He can swerve them in. Uh, too easy, that. No real challenge on him either. Here's Dow. Free kick, yes. Coming up very fast. Uh, Stillian Petrov, who gets a booking for that. Petrov booked. I think his momentum carrying him right through, and he had put his leg out. And only one possibility there for the referee. I must say, Alan, with about, uh, you know, just coming up to 12 minutes gone, we're actually seeing a kind of nervy Celtic. Well, they certainly haven't had their own way, have they? Aberdeen have shut them down very, very quickly indeed and not let them settle on the ball. That was obviously the plan in the first 20 minutes. The game will start to pan out, the test match will start to become clearer who's getting on top, but at the moment, it will be very difficult to separate any of them. No real chances as of yet. Free kick offside. Johnson trying to exploit that great pace of his. He gets right in line. I think he's capable of taking on any defender. Good explosive burst over a short space of yards now. Free kick for Callister. Good bite. Now Perry. It's an ambitious ball. All that comes out of that is a throw in. Mahi going in very quickly. Stadrum gets a corner kick. Aberdeen support away to my left-hand side. Excited by this prospect. There they are. There he is, trying to keep uh, check of himself. Well, he, he's usually very successful at that. What a swing in it. Goal, not all that confidently. And I think uh, another corner kick. Gould is complaining, by the way, that he was impeded. He may have a point, Alan. Yeah, I think so. He's come to win it. There's a lot of bodies in there. He gets enough on it, though. Referee will just have a quick word with him at the moment. It's a lovely ball into a dangerous area. It comes together. There's a lot of bodies there. Eventually, the referee is given another corner. Oh. Well, pushing it once again, Stavrum. Good solid tackle by McNamara as he came across. He had to fill up little space there. A good spell for, for Aberdeen. This Zero Ali. Now Celtic on the break. Petrov. McNamara. Viduka. Can he get Celtic going now? That's a better ball in towards Johnston. Excellent clearance against Solberg has been outstanding so far. McAllister. Ian Jess. Whipped away there by Boyd, though. Well, that's a little gift. Johnston couldn't get hold of it, though. I think Allen he had every intention, given he's not had uh, any latitude so far, of really having a go at this. Yeah, there's no way he was going to pass with anyone. Solberg actually initially his touch is okay. All he'd done is turn into Tommy Johnson. Johnson took the ball off him, no support. 
quite right to have a shot. And Tommy Johnson probably can't believe he's lucky he's actually playing today. Two months ago, I'm sure he didn't think he'd be turning out in the cup final for Glasgow Celtic, that's for sure. Well, there's a mistake there, and it's almost touched away. Mjolby got to it. By the way, we'll have a man of the match competition. There's the number there, 0 900 9 0 Yolby. Mahe. Might be going in one of his runs for the first time in the game. Moravchik, of whom we've seen hardly any positive move, but that's a bit of ball. Now McNamara. Viduka. Tantalizing ability. He has to get it over. Well, that ball played beautifully in there by Viduka, and Johnson was hovering right in the middle. Brilliant play by Viduka. Superb ball and great defending. Play down the track. Reset. Open to scoring for Celtic. Suddenly popping up in the penalty area. The defender coming in. An auxiliary attacker, and Leighton is annoyed that he was left totally exposed. That ball played in there by Vikos. Yeah, it was a lovely goal. And I don't know how Reset got to there. A good run forward by him. A lovely ball in from Vikos. Incredible when you think there's a good spell for Aberdeen this as well. Hit with a sucker punch. Not the greatest of contacts by Reset. Doesn't matter. Celtic one up. And the Aberdeen manager for the first time has become animated. He's out screaming at his defenders. Good move by Vico, uh, by Reset coming forward the way he did. Here's Zero Ali. Wants to go on the outside, and it! Just pass! On the outside of the net, the stab room puts his thumbs up. He acknowledged that. Little ball there that ought to have been cleared by the Celtic defence initially. Almost caught out there. It was a better ball in from Zero Ali. Just gets himself in front of Stefan Mahi. Slided us up with touches. If anything, he's unfortunately just got too much of it. And into the side netting, but a good response from Aberdeen right away, though. And now you can hear the Celtic supporters in the background. They're in front, and they believe they'll stay there. But as uh, Alan said, a very good response by Aberdeen. A real test of their character and nerve now, given the fact that they've folded so easily to Celtic this season. After Celtic have gone in front at just about this juncture in the previous games. Zero Ali. No. Celtic supporters swo sweeping way around to the other side of the stadium. Massive support here. Our stab room has been holding on to that uh, front edge roll of his, just on the edge of the Celtic defence, sometimes uh, tempting the offside position. The obey to stab room. Did very well there, Stavrum, that's a decent ball, and Gould had to keep his eye on it closely. There was a lot of curl in that one. Yeah, there was, but unfortunately not enough. He's done that a couple of times, Stavrum, turned inside Mahi, cross comes short. Initially, Johnny Gould was coming to get it, and then he realised it was turning away from him, or rather beyond him. Good turn by Stavrum. He just needs someone coming in at the back post, and that would have been an easy finish. Well, he don't have that kind of striker, Aberdeen, at the moment. I mean, Jess is... Uh, Tends to play just off a little bit. In there, we haven't seen very much of Jess. Mahe. Rather inept uh, effort there by Mahe. Seems to take his eye off the ball. He's slightly annoyed with himself for that. Jess, trying to get back into midfield, that's a decent ball, just tucked away. Had to pick it up, up comes McNamara, great support by McNamara, 
and that, I think, will be a booking. Solberg gets a yellow card. I think uh, Kenny Clark's wife watching for the first time here would approve of that one. I think so, yes, with a little rash challenge. He did well initially to get the ball away, but when Jackie McNamara picked it up, he was already running at the defence at pace. Ryan's got on to give him a little bit of treatment, he'll be all right. Yes, McNamara, a great game against uh, Rangers, but to no useful end for, for his side. <laughs> 20 minutes gone, just over, and Aberdeen have to hold this intact. Another goal now at this juncture for Celtic. It would be very difficult. And there's Leighton. Oh, there was a, a wicked skid in the ball as it came towards him. Aberdeen on the counter-attack. Mahe's there. Well, I think Celtic have seen enough of Aberdeen in the way they've competed in this game to realise that it's certainly not going to be like the other games they've had. A much more disciplined looking side Aberdeen in terms of its structure and attitude. Ian Jess setting off after this. Mjolbe. And it goes again. Not very pretty, but safe. And Zero Ali, I think. Yes. Played on the right hand side, there he is. A wild one by Good Fight. Almost like a spring day for football, and certainly the Celtic supporters there beginning to enjoy this. And a bit of relaxation in these famous faces. Right on the left. Needs hardly any introduction. Sober getting to that, will be. Nice turn by Petrov. Pass certainly didn't match it. Zero Ali was wanting that ball played beyond the defender. Balls out. to Jess again, Petro picking up a lot of the action in midfield, Yolby. Johnson has been beaten in the air for all of these high balls played down the middle. Is there a oh, given away, bad ball by Perry. Petrov. Beautiful ball by Petrov and McNamara. He certainly had to go for it. And I think he realized that McAllister had committed himself as well. A brave challenge by the pair of them. Yobi. Johnston. Look at the support by this McNamara. Superb coming up from midfield. And that's why it's. Well, reset, I think, his appetite has been whetted by that goal he got. Absolutely, I said he was a weak link in the Celtic team down that right-hand side, thinking that Zero Alley would give him a few problems. Well, he's given them the opener. He slipped in contact there, but certainly a decent height. No problem for Jim Leighton, though. Like a little push by reset there. Way by Boyd, McAllister. So McAllister killed that ball beautifully with his left foot. It's coming towards him at a fair rate of knots. Ex uh, quit of the South player. Uh, he's done a lot of shouting in his day, Tommy. 150% committed in every game. And slip because 
Can he take advantage? Well, Moravchik, annoyed, I think, must be annoyed by himself. He didn't go through on that, and the overlap as quickly as he could have. No, I think he's a little upset. I mean, there was a, a slip by an Aberdeen and a Celtic player there. I think he's just a little frustrated because he hasn't really been in the game as often as he would probably want to be. Long and high towards Johnson. That's an excellent ball in Leighton. No hesitation. He was out of the traps there very quickly indeed. Well, well done, Jim Leighton. There. That's the best pass of the game. Maracic, absolute pinpoint in between defender and goalkeeper running each other. Jim, quite right, Archie was out. The, the box is nice and quick to clear the danger. Aberdeen giving the ball away liberally in midfield now. That could be fatal for them. That's a bad pass. Uh, so it's uh, Celtic's passing apart from that pass we've just seen from Maravchik. has got a lot to be desired in this game. Stabroom. Nice little ball, there's Zeruani! Well, he was right to take it away, he did. He really has been exploring and he had only one thing in mind. Well, as soon as he saw Stavrum turn there, you can see already he's got a half yard in Mahe. Good contact, a little too good, but a great run. And that's what he has to do, get himself in that box. Well, this man, I think, uh, deserves a great deal of credit for establishing a coordination within the Aberdeen ranks that seemed dishevelled, so dishevelled, so often this season. They're still... A lot of work to be done at, at Petrodri yet, but he's come a long way in a short time. It's a performance so far that, you know, doesn't have any sting up front, uh, Alan, but nevertheless, they play some good possession football. Yeah, they do. They're certainly a massively different team than they were at the beginning of the season. Skobdal's gradually get them to play the way he wants to. And to be fair, even when they conceded the goal, it was a good spell for them. Let's get hit with a little bit of a sucker punch. Marking with slack with reset, an extra man coming into the box, but I think he'd be reasonably happy the way the game has gone. He doesn't need Zero Ali to do that, trying all the fancy moves. You want him to get to the byline and get it in the box. There he is. A little wrestling match there with Mahe. There's nobody near enough of him to, to lay it off, and it goes through the tunnel. And I was trying to play it off the legs of Mahe there to get the throw in. I still want to see him attack players. Mahé. Paduka inside, in fact, but Paduka's been rather quiet. The service to him hasn't hardly been prolific. Rather slack phase of this game. Just about 28 minutes gone. Well, I think Celtic will be content enough at being one goal behind without having turned in the very best of their performances. Cost. Here's Vinuka. Training men with him. Too many around him that time. But it's one or two of the players are finding it difficult to keep uh, their feet when they turn quickly. Probably Aberdeen more uh, vulnerable to that than Celtic. It looked as if it might have gone across for a corner kick. A throw, in fact, was the goal scorer. <laughs> slack, slack ball, and Baramchik. A little bit slow going for that. Look at the determination of our Perry as he went in there. Slight touch. Very slight touch indeed. It was also uh, the boot on the top, but I think accentuated it. And I think Lugo's just saw the opportunity to go down and give himself a great chance to curl this ball into the box. And in it goes. Good clearance. Now Petrov. Acres of space around him. 
to get it to Baduka again. It dealt with Baduka very well in the air. Leisman has his flag up, and I think uh, free kick to Aberdeen. Fifteen minutes to half time. That slack too far ahead of Baduka. Remember the man of the match uh, competition. 09-009-11-55-00. That's the telephone number for man of the match competition. Well, the bottom hasn't fallen out of the match, but I must say, Celtic look as if they're quite content to coast along at this stage. That was a better ball. Reset giving support. The man who's just scored his first goal of the season, in fact. Wow. Paduka brought down, yes. Uh, Zero Ali. As Boravchik went across there. Zero Ali brought down. Hasn't been as much in the game as I've seen him recently for Celtic. But of course, he's a, a great influence. Could have been his first tackle of the season, then. Great player, super. Well, he did it uh, again. He's one of the Celtic players that played well against Rangers. Oh, by Vikost. They're up at him like a flash. Zeniwali was that time, showing the defensive side of his nature. Stabrum. They're lacking support, Celtic uh, snapping them up very quickly in midfield. He just looked a little bit cumbersome there. Also running out of ideas, Aberdeen a little, not the good passing movement we saw in the opening 12-15 minutes. Celtic playing well within themselves at the moment with this goal lead now. Callister had to get that one. No margin for error. Oof. Turning on the style as well. Far too much play in the ball though. Morabchi. There he goes. No, not the Morabchi of earlier in the season when he hits the ball, it can be explosive. Nothing much in that. No, he didn't catch it as well as he wanted to, obviously. Certainly forgive him for that. He could do it with either foot, but there's too many players on about him there. Probably stopped him pulling the leg back and getting the proper contact on it. supporters trying to raise the team again they're looking just a little bit flat at the moment in zero alley he might be a wee fella but uh, <laughs> he can dig in as well I think he's learned a lot since coming here <laughs> get the impression because just wants to swat him away <laughs> And Paducah backing into the defender. Paul Bernard was coming back to, uh, to give support in defence. Uh, Baduka was wondering why that came about. Well, well, I think initially his arm went up there across Solberg. I think that's probably why the free kick's gone against him. And that's the kind of ball that Celtic think might hurt Aberdeen using Baduka's strength. Reset, Vikost, Johnston, well played by Solberg again, Perry, Uzi and Jess coming back just a little bit deeper, he hasn't been in this game, there it is, Paduka with a great chance and just touched away, another salvage act there by Solberg who did brilliantly first to see the danger and then keep his balance, prodding it away. I said Aberdeen have gone a little bit flat, nothing coming off for them, and they seem so congested as witness that little uh, cameo there. 
in midfield. Well, it's all come from Aberdeen giving the ball away, Archie. Ian Jess shut down, no real options for him, just put a little bit too much in the pass, and Solberg did really well. You know, when you come ac across a, a final uh, like this, there's the challenge now, Solberg doing so well. So I say, when you come across a final like this, where a team has lost 18 goals to the opponent, you come with a preconceived notion that, you know, Celtic really have to win it as favourites. But in fact, I, I suppose even though Aberdeen have got a little bit flat, Alan, they have been very, very organised and are giving them a much better game than many of us is anticipated. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, we've already, already said that when Celtic score, it was a good start for Aberdeen and just really got hit with a sucker punch. They'll need to get more into the game, though. They'll need to start the passing that you know, obviously brought them out. I don't think it'll be a 4 or 5 nothing today, though, not the way they seem to be playing, but certainly Celtic on top at the moment. Solberg just getting rid of that. Baduka picks it up, though. Nice little turn. It makes it look so easy, and that swept away. McNamara came in from the back. There he is again. Hooked away eventually by Jimmy McAllister. And Aberdeen at the moment up against it. Reset attempting a run down the right hand side there. And this is a, a good commanding phase for Celtic. Boyd totally untroubled at the back, Boyd. Johnston, no Baduka's there though. Celtic pick it up again because there's Baduka now. Wandered out to the right hand side. Now get support for Abchik. Does the little turn again and there's Jim Layton. Nobody turns as, as sweetly as this man in the ball. Well, once again, the stumble. Tremendous effort there. Now, Vikos. Celtic keeping the pressure on. And really no punch in that drive by Tommy Johnson. Well, Aberdeen are shooting themselves in the foot. They're giving the ball away constantly. And again, a good break. A good block, rather. Eventually comes to Johnson. Him with the shot. An easy take for Jim. Well, Celtic had to keep the pressure going. That was a bad pass. Solberg again to Stabrum. Looking for Zero Ali. Mahe did well there. Now Moravchik beginning to ply his trade again. Knew exactly where he was going to put that. Right in the top of Baduka's head. That surely is an Aberdeen throw. So I think they've got to stabilise themselves again, Aberdeen. Rocky, rocky period for them, this. Give it away meekly again, that time by gunfight. Not having the strongest of games. Now Stavrov, he's got a little break. Celtic have been pulled forward. Ian Jess running on the left-hand side. Still Stavrov, and there's Jess. It was far too predictable, though. Easily read by the Celtic defence, and now Njobi. Trying for the longer one. Give it away. Good interception by Petrov. Almaravchik. Not sharp enough. Bernard. Better break by Aberdeen on the right hand side. Andy Dow waiting for players to come forward. Plays it just a little bit too square. Good fight. McAllister giving support. Aberdeen flooding into the box. You'll be very hard in, but legitimately. A very cool play by McNamara. However, as, as we pointed out, Alan, uh, Aberdeen haven't been sustaining that long enough in the match. Not, not at least in the last 20 minutes. No, not at all. And even the break there, I mean, I, I had a go at... Reset earlier on, but he's ran 50, 60 yard sprint there to make sure that when Stavrum played the ball out to the left, he was the one that was marking Jess. Well, he's a bit slower there. Stavrum's onside. There's only one player in the box. 
Up comes Jess Snow, and it's taken away. v -cross coming back. Jess was lying to the left-hand side. He'd only one play in the box initially, Jess coming up late. Well, he's worked hard, left and right, Stavrum. A good ball into the box, good defending by v -cross. Because if he hadn't have made the run into the box, it was an easy finish for Jess. This is a good finish for Aberdeen. Five minutes to have time. Aberdeen desperate to get back in level terms at this crucial juncture of the game. Played down there, Goal gets to it, and oh, Zero Ali is annoyed. Well, Jonathan Gould, and uh, rather fiery mood he's in today. Digging in there to get it, and Zero Ali got uh, mixed up with him eventually. Well, it's dropped into a nice place, Mark Perry just couldn't control it. Jonathan takes it safely enough, and then Zero Ali. No, no, no. On the rear end. Maybe that's a, a Moroccan gesture of affection, <laughs> I don't know. Paducah. many opportunities will be very closely marked but that doesn't uh, nullify the danger he can exert up comes Jonathan Gould reset on Yobi tucked inside there by Baduka trying to get it going good fight there's McAllister, good point making the run down the left-hand side, there's Zeru Ali, good control by the little Moroccan. Oh, he loses his balance, and just as I was saying, so many Aberdeen players slipping on this stuff. Solberg can't get it. Free kick. Baduka coming back into midfield. Does that very well. That's been one of his major attributes, you know, the way he can bring a ball down and shield it from players. And that's exactly it. And he's got them a free kick there. Good control by the big man. And it's all right fouling him again. What a check. Can he get the ball over? He left it late. Well, not the easiest of balls for a goalkeeper to take at a near post. Here's McAllister. And again, and yes, by about a couple of yards, I think. Yeah, definitely offside. Good play by Tom Boyd. He's had a good game so far at the back. Tom Boyd just stepped up, used his experience. Oh, I'll tell you what, Solberg's played Baduka as well as any centre back this season. Yeah, I agree. And that was the biggest thing they were very wary of, Aberdeen. But just in midfield, they had a good start. And all of a sudden, they seem to have just lost it a little bit. He's calmed down just a little. Two minutes of uh, stoppage time to be played. Neatly tucked inside and every waving play on. Which turns out to be a very good tackle by Petrov and that was revenge. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I think that's Andy Dow getting his own back. I think he felt he'd, there was an injustice a couple of minutes ago. So Andy Dow gets uh, the yellow. Tommy Boyd coming up. Well, that's more like uh, Moravchik. In Jess. Cluster of players then, yet again. That's uh, an object lesson by Tommy Boyd. 
if you're the captain of a side and there's a 50 50 ball it becomes yours yeah he's, he's had a good game today tommy he's almost foot perfect i don't remember him giving the ball away even then that ball was going to Mirav. the only thing it was it was going about 150 miles an hour and the wee man couldn't control it swept away by petrov well that's a good tackle again boyd's been immense what shall they make him man of the match at the moment? Up comes the goal scorer. Is he going to score his second of the season? Support again by McNamara. There's Viduka. He's put it away now. Getting right underneath it. And I think the very fact that he was chaperoned so closely there led to this ballooning. Great play by the big man, though. Superb control. This is where they don't want him at the edge of the box, using his strength, gets by Anderson. And the fact that Jamie McAllister was coming in his right, he knows it was a chance. You can see, being in the position, you get yourself a yard, you're trying to get a bit of power on it. Yeah, I think he's, by his facial expression there, I think he's saying he's really had a hard toil out there against uh, this <laughs> defence. Solberg uh, has been, as I said, very, very good against them. I mean, he can make even the best of defenders uh, wilt and, in fact, can make them look quite stupid at times the way he can turn them quickly. But Solberg hasn't been taken on by that so much this afternoon. To be fair to Aberdeen, Archie, they've had a good, yeah. a good first half. They really Absolutely. have. Yeah. No question about it. They're not out of this game at all. No, no, no. And he'll be reasonably happy, I think. He knows that they've just been outplayed a little too much at times in the game, but they'll have a few choice words at half time. He said. Goes free, there's Perry. And by Bernard. A little heady tennis going on at the moment. McNamara picking it up. Good run forward by Biduka. Yes, he's going in hard. And by Johnson, that was. Tommy Johnson running across. Johnson certainly had his uh, shirt pulled, but I think it was the reaction more than anything else. So, Tommy Johnson, it is. Yellow card there. Well, it's a needless booking, isn't it? He's only frustrated because he thought he was going to get in behind the defender. And we all know now if you use your arms in any action towards the referee. And there goes the halftime. Most fluent Celtic performance I've seen this season. But nevertheless, they are up there. And the surprise scorer, the Norwegian. Celtic support, I think, uh, would settle for a victory and a possession of the cup without laying too much stress on the quality of the game. No, probably not. That's probably a lot of times now you get into the finals and you can look back in the performance, good or bad, but if you've got the silverware in the cabinet, it doesn't really matter. Just on the, the change, actually, I'm not really surprised. Kido Gunvite didn't really have a particularly good first half. In fact, he was the one that let Vikost in behind him when it was good possession by himself in Moravchik when he put the ball across for reset to score. And there is Rahid uh, Belabed, who's uh, about to come on. Then a Moroccan who brought a skill, whether he has the temperament and the capacity to try to pull back this very narrow lead, but I think, nevertheless, when you play against Celtic in the Cup final, substantial when you're looking at it as an opponent. But uh, on he comes anyway. Finally, the, the call, he and uh, Hero Ali, the Curly Slipper Brothers. <laughs> I wonder why. He said, taking it, Hero Ali's in. And that was right on the edge of the box. It wasn't inside it. And for some reason, oh, that's a bad one. He said, knew exactly what he was doing there. Here's the slackness. And he had to reach out and is just outside the box. Well, that was my initial criticism of him, you know, giving the ball away, not particularly good control. And that was the reason I thought that Zerowali began the game down this left-hand side. Reasons like that, 
nipping in very quickly any mistake being made and you know, this could be a great start for them in the second half and they can bury this one well Zero Ali is going to hover over this he also has uh, Thomas Solberg there and does he have the skill to curl it in into the box uh, beside his Celtic defenders goes Ariel Stabrum referee trying to sort out the shoving going on and it's uh, straight to Zero Ali again straight into the box and that was despite the, the very big build-up and inept free kick. It wasn't a good free kick, he's trying to bend it in, but he's bending it almost before it's lifted into the air, no chance you're going to beat goalkeeper all wall doing that. Bernard can't quite get to it. Jackie McNamara. Now this is the first time we've seen the Frenchman raiding like this. I think he might have been told to get forward just a little bit more. Mahé did very well, just simply used his weight and Johnson gets underneath it. First uh, real effort by Johnson with his feet. He did well initially, Mahé going down that left-hand side, got a second crack at it as well. Tommy way underneath that one. And out to Perry. And that's a bad ball by Perry. Must have seen the Celtic midfield coming up very quickly there, and that's hooked away again. Solberg, Ali put a foot wrong. Zero Ali chasing after this. Mjolby. Then Mahe. Well, he was forced into that. And once again, the Aberdeen support away to our left hand side, getting a little bit of heart out of the way they've uh, started the second half. Jess. Tried to take that quickly. Go to Aberdeen. Stabrum. No free kick. Referee. I think right to wave that on. Johnson goes down. That, that will be stopped. It's going to be difficult, they're shading their eyes looking into the sun like that. Surprisingly, Jim Layton is not wearing a cap. A free kick again. Lucky Mark Perry, he could have got big for that. There's Tom Boyd. And that's uh, my head rather coming in, and that wins him the corner kick. Sudden spot there by the Frenchman. First time I saw him was playing for Paris Saint-Germain. His career was interrupted by an injury to another player because he played him out of position to fill a sudden gap that they had. Borace digging it in. Yes. Celtic support think there should have been a challenge for that. That's out of play. Well, there's Kenny Dalglish. He scored in uh, three cup finals here, three League Cup finals, and paradoxically ended up on the losing side in all three of them. Well, he was elated with that goal. He knows there's a long way to go yet, though. So they're going away with it. Here's Johnson, Moravchik, just beside him. Referee allowing that to flow as well.
Goal kick. McAllister. You'll be towering over little Zero Alley there. He's going in bravely enough. Ooh, the passing far too short by Bernard. There's lovely little tuck inside there. Zero Alley coming back. The play very untidy. And the referee suddenly having a look at it, giving the ball away again in this time. The referee does stop the play for a free kick, just as Petrov set off for goal. That yeah. was a that, that's been the scrappiest couple of minutes of the game. Yeah, absolutely. McNamara and Zero Ali still on the ground, but still then Petrov in picture there. I think he's a little unlucky because I think Solberg has actually turned into Petrov. It was a, a little 50-50. This is where Zero Ali's knee just catches his head, I think. Jackie McNamara, and both have gone down. And eventually, you see it again here, just catches his head and no more. I think both should be okay. Well, I think Zero Ali, perhaps the, the more serious, he might have twisted himself, certainly not enjoying it. There might be a substitution coming up. Well, that would be a very serious blow if he had to go off because there is always a potential in this little man to do the unexpected and this is a game and an occasion where the unexpected of course is almost compulsory it looks as if he's going off you might be right Archie. i think robbie winters is getting his gear off that's unfortunate because as he quite rightly said he's Able to come up with anything, get to the byline, get the ball in, or wriggle his way into the box, but that's most definitely a, a twist. Looks like the knee. Maybe see it better here. He's certainly done a great job getting back. I think just there, his right knee left. Take your pick. <laughs> done it on both, I think. But that's not good. So you saw right away he was in a bit of pain. Well, Robbie Winters about to come on, the man they got from United, and he's got a bit of pace about him. Perhaps not as as uh, mysterious in his play as the little Moroccan. A bit more straightforward and direct. And there's a very sad side in any game, not least a cup final, where potential, potentially a match winger, a winner has been carried off like that. Well, well, the positive thing possibly, Archie, is that that gives Robbie Winters, obviously, pace of himself to give Celtic problems and Ian Jess moving back into midfield you know, he's one of the best players they have at Aberdeen to get him on the ball and get some good quality passes forward to the two strikers because they are a little lightweight up front really Aberdeen they are indeed and Jess has not performed when you talk about Ian Jess you suddenly discover you're talking all the time about his potential you keep talking about his potential and Sadly for Aberdeen, they don't realise it often enough. This is offside. Certainly turned back away from goal, but it, even when he, he reversed the situation, he was off. That is Ian Jess. I just think he may be happier just playing behind the front two, though, Archie. Shouldn't find out. He's got a little bit to go to try and play that telling pass. Stabroom can't get to that. There's Jess. by McAllister Robbie Winter a little bit of shove there Bernard Penny giving it away crucial area here because Beduka picks up he likes these runs and that's a free kick and I suspect a booking as well yes it is indeed that's Bernard getting the yellow card. Well, Baduka was just getting in the top gear there. Bernard knew he had to take him out. They were really thin at the back there, Aberdeen. Again, just giving the ball away. 
Good run on the outside. Viduka tried to get in again. Once again, Moravchik looking very dangerous down that left hand side. Referee waving player honours. Viduka almost got clear. Southie keeping the pressure off. Big cost. Amarabchik. Southie almost parked just outside the box. No. Just a bit too obvious that time. Russell Anderson taking him away now. Who's coming up on this left hand side reset? Hesitated again. And he out. Oh, easily taken away. Aberdeen still coming in. And Bellaberg, the first time we've seen him in the game, bringing the Aberdeen supporters to their feet behind a goal with this little thrust. Well, they made an incredible noise there, the Aberdeen fans. They haven't had too much. And then it's in just across the face of the goal. And forward go Aberdeen again. Man of the match uh, competition, by the way. There's the phone number 09009. 11.55.00. We've only got it written down <laughs> once. <laughs> now. McAllister. Reset. Dow, can he touch it inside? He does. Bobby Winters, Dow. Bernard overdoes it again. That ball had to be played outside him. Viduka picks up with Tommy Johnson. Can he finish it off? He does. That should be it. One quick break by Johnson and he slides it home. And it was always going to be dangerous as soon as he lost possession, when they did. And Viduka picked it up there. Well, initially you thought Viduka had lost possession. A lovely ball through, good support by Tommy Johnson. And I said at the beginning, he probably couldn't believe he was in the final in the first place. A good kill finish. Jim had certainly cut the near post off, but there was a big gap at the back post. Manages just to stay on side and no more, Tommy. And a very clinical finish. And that actually is down to Aberdeen giving away possession. And Celtic now cruising at 2-0. And he must say, it's going to be very difficult for Aberdeen to pick themselves up now. It should add to Celtic's confidence as Petrov comes forward. There's a goal scorer. Amaravchik. McNamara took up very good position, Viduka. Really trying to kill it off once and for all. And Aberdeen really need to pick something up almost immediately. They've got to do something in the next 15 minutes. They've, they've played tolerably well compared to some of the occasions I've seen them playing Celtic this season, but it needs much more than just that. Here's Viduka. Just turning on it. Bellabed sending it down, reset. Back to Mara. Rather weaker ball there. Certainly got to keep the composure. And not break up, stab room. You can see from that little glancing header, nobody coming up in support. Aberdeen, I think, a little bit shell-shocked at the moment.
Oh, here's the one again. That could be a red card. Red card it is. That's another tragedy for Aberdeen. A man who's been outstanding in the game and his total mistiming sees him ending up. You know, he had committed himself for the ball there and couldn't stop. I think actually, quite honestly, he thought he was going to win the ball. And he's actually just mistimed it. The ball it was a good ball forward, to be fair. He's just mistimed it. And his momentum is taking him through and taking Petrov out of the game. Cup final, I don't like to see anyone get sent off. No, no. Two bookings, but certainly that one, I would have said, was a booking. I think the first one he had was a little harsh. So... And that's way wide by Viduka. Well, you go into a cup final, you played tolerably well, and then suddenly you find yourself two goals behind uh, and a man down. Troubles don't come any more difficult than that. Unfortunately not. We'll have to do a quick reshuffle. Yeah. Not for the first time that someone's won a game with ten men, but... Well, that's the first time I've seen him really annoyed and anguished at the actual game itself. Normally the, the epitome of composure. Well, you just saw what he said there, we'll go 4-4-1. Yeah. So he's, he's going to play with the four at the back still, and unfortunately for Stavrum, he'll have a hard job up front on his own, that's for sure. Ian Jess taking off after that. Jess, to be honest, for a man of... I keep on this subject, he's a brilliantly talented player, but he's been really a cipher in this game. Well, you'd expect him to take a bigger part. Doesn't go out looking for it somewhere, and... and you know, if you've got real class, you've got to do that. Well, I suppose that's true, actually. Very difficult for him when he's chasing shadows. It'll be even more difficult for him now, but Celtic have, apart from the first 15 minutes, really dominated this game. Way by Perry. There by Mjolby. There is Jess, and he gets the free kick out of that. Because not all that happy with it, but there goes Bellabet. Well, he was touched, but that was theatrical. Nothing theatrical about this. Stabbed through by Moravchik again. Per uh, back by Winters. Winters again. Easy one for Vikos. Well, Celtic, uh, uh, they've, they've never looked, uh, apart from the, the first 15, 20 minutes, just a little bit unsure of themselves, but now they're playing with confidence, and he realises that. Yeah, Tommy, I'll be delighted the way they've played. A big part in the coaching now at Celtic. Moramczyk held on to that well. Really was under pressure. Oh, they were almost kissing it. Free kick though to Celtic. Jackie's lost his footing there. We soon find out. Well, it's a it was their single. hands going in. Accidental. A little though. bit of everything there, really. A little lucky to get the free kick, Celtic, to be quite honest with you. Ah, no, Mravchik. I would like to be the defender when he's taking kicks from here. He swerves it in so well. There's another one. Look at the curb bonnet. Reset was up and doing some climbing very enthusiastic player maybe he lacks these little touches of finesse that I, I think you were pointing out to start off with but here's winters gonna use his pace 
Certainly tried to, and that will be a booking, but he wasn't the last line defender. The interpretation is quite strict. I mean, if he had been the last line defender, that was off. Uh, good pace by Winters. We said he had a bit of pace when he came on. I mean, I know he's caught him with the foot there. He's taken him away. Not exactly the most malicious tackle you've ever seen, but nevertheless, Lee Seth goes into the book. Touch there toward Gould. Stavron getting a set to, but I, I think that was meant for somebody else to give him a little bit of support at the back. Andy Dow going back very, very deep. Celtic will be too unhappy to uh, have it into a possession here, but it's when the likes of Winters picks it up, looking for a little one-two. No free kick. As v course coming away. Plenty time. That goal margin and time working for Celtic now. Check. On a pace in that, but I think it's whipped away, yes. That's it going down heavily. Here's Stabrum. Looking to play it wide, he did well to come out of that Stabrum. Just labouring it a bit much, though. They haven't been sharp enough in parting with the ball. And I think uh, Bernard, Dower and Stavrin there have all been guilty of that. Yeah, a little bit, but quite honestly, he's trying to thread the ball through the eye of a needle there. You need someone, you need to be working hard to keep possession. And unfortunately, too many times Aberdeen have been a little disjointed in doing that. Celtic, are, you'd be lucky if Celtic are in second gear at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, strolling. Radzik. I'd like him to put a pass forward like that. Hasn't been as dominant a figure for Celtic in this game as I've seen him, but then we're talking about a very high standard that he's produced in league games. There he is. Sees players in space well, and Yolby had ventured out to the right hand side. supporters with their parody of you'll never walk alone I can't quite make out the words and perhaps it's judicious not to do so <laughs> still in good voice though Winters there's a typical indication out here okay I know they're playing with 10 men but very lightweight up front look at the run here there's two of them could go for it great clearance by Perry Johnson has ventured out to the left-hand side. Here's Viduka. McNamara as usual, now Viduka. Well, Dalton pretty well, he'll put this away, no! Well, that's almost like the miss he had against Rangers in the recent league game. He picked it up, he's very, very casual, and decides to try to flick it past. Well, he should have. It's a good stop by Jim, to be fair, but... He showed good skill initially to keep control of the ball. Mark Perry ended up on his back, cut inside, but quite honestly, he should have really sealed this beyond a doubt. That sometimes, as the finger pointed at him, you know, he has such good skill, but 
he sometimes just goes through the motion, looks a little almost uninterested. But he won't have a better chance to score today. What would it be like if he was really interested, eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, a great ball. McNamara's after it. Yeah, Jesse being pulled, free kick. Aberdeen. May well be that Jess is about to re be replaced. Yeah. Good play by Mrabczyk again. Paduka can't quite get hold of it, and there's a great shot by Johnson as it comes forward. That uh, Petrov came up. Look carefully at it and then let blast. He has been picking up a lot in midfield. Tremendous shot. Uh, here's the run. Stalbrum cutting inside. That's a good tackle, though. He's been outstanding yeah, today, Tommy Boyd. He really has that Quite immaculate. I honestly can't remember Tommy Boyd giving the ball away today. Ratchik. Nobody square. Johnson to go back deep. Petrov. Almost leisurely look about Celtic now. Well, they obviously don't have to push for another one. I think they'll get a, a few more chances before the end, but they're leaving it up to Aberdeen to come out, leave spaces for them. Because they know that Aberdeen will have to do that to get back in. They're going to make a change as well, Archie. Yeah. Callister, Winters. He said the right attitude uh, since coming on, Winters. Now reset. That's a bit of ball. But Abche's going to try and chip it through. Way to the left hand side, Dan. I think he just aimed it for the way to the far left hand corner. I think Celtic will take this corner, but almost uh, inevitably after this. Meyer will come on, the German. Get up! Robert Swift to the outside, and there's a shot again by Petrov. Really is in the mood, Petrov, to finish it off, and uh, again, that's an uncharacteristic finish. I think we're going to have this substitution. And Ian Jess comes off. Another disappointing game. For a player we know can play to the highest level. Well, that's what Scottish football is all about nowadays. Here's, here's a man we talk about in, in international terms, Ian Jess. You want a player like that to succeed. He's brought off at a cup final for a, a, a German who's hardly one of their noted players. Well, unfortunately, he hasn't had a particularly great game, Ian Jess, and you know, you're looking for him to be more involved, as I said, but fresh legs by Andreas Meyer, but just trying to freshen things up, I think, but I think a little too late. Indeed, just about 15 minutes remaining. Tommy Johnson's been playing way on that left-hand side. Stavron, there's the pace of Winters, Mahe goes with him. Winters again trying to get to the line. And ball though, Bellabed. Put out by McNamara, but not uh, all that effectively. Bernard. Down. 
Bernard having to go back the way Celtic getting players behind the ball. So he touched away and Bellabed turned away from that though. Go to Aberdeen. I must say the Aberdeen support have been splendid today. Two goals behind and see the man said of trouble seeping up and yet they've been with the side all the way. Tackle that one. Play still goes on now. Smack them on up. And there's a free kick. Late challenge by Bernard. Yes. No doubt about that. That chick. Reset. And had evil intentions for Aberdeen there. Well, when he puts his mind to it, he's a, a, an aggressive and direct player. He can sometimes pay off, Alan. Yeah, they do. He's actually had a good game today, Vida Reset. Apart from a couple of times, his controls let him down, but his defenders in a bit and have managed to help him out. Back in the box he goes. Ravchik may want to let fly himself, but back to McNamara. There's a great chance in his pass, though. Up came Vikost. Saw the danger. Given a little bit of space at the back. Could have done better. It could have done a little better there. He could even have brought the ball back across. Good ball to the back post, though, to be fair. Defender in his way. It had to have been good. There was someone on that near post as well, but a chance nevertheless. Initially, I was hoping Moravchik might whip it in with his left foot, but decided with a tricky back heel instead. But I honestly can't see Aberdeen getting back into this up to the look as if they're a little more depleted than before. Surely a free kick, yes. Back near the touchline, though. Big fellow, Martin Vikos, the Martin Vikos, the Danish international. Pounding his way around midfield. Yes, too many players cluster together. Johnson back in that left back position. He goes. And there by McNamara, and he takes his eye off it. I think that uh, tackle by McNamara sums setting up at the moment. They're not just uh, needing to push it too hard. No, they don't really, and they, they took it pretty lightly. Just went the wrong way, but a good tackle by Tom Boyd again. He really hasn't given Stavrum a single inch in this second half. Remember, there's a man of the match competition. Uh, we'll be giving you the telephone number. Celtic crowd shouting for Paducah to go right in on that. Nobody there, and it comes to McNamara. Aberdeen defending desperately. Ooh, there might have been, just for a moment, I thought McAllister had pulled a muscle there. He stretched down. A good player, McAllister. Good prospect. Ravchik throwing himself a little bit. I think we should bear in mind uh, and keep in perspective the improvement that Aberdeen have managed to achieve since early season when, quite frankly, they were a laughing stock. It looks as if they're going to lose this final. But they've done it without uh, any major discredit. They've certainly lacked any punch or wallop up front. <laughs> but there's a lot of the game that must give satisfaction to the long-suffering supporters. 
Like I said right at the start, there's a long way for them to go to get back to to something like what they were in the past. Well, absolutely, but they certainly made a there they are, start to it anyway. They've been very loyal today, good support. A good run, and he, quite frankly, hasn't done that often enough. But he's had over the ball and went in that defence. There's a, a, a young lad who's had a good game. Yeah, he has. He's yeah. been eager to come forward and help out his attack as well. well. He's made himself available. Initially he came, he wasn't fit enough. I think he's getting there now. He's certainly gone about his business in midfield. Bellabed and Gould had committed himself. Well, he's claiming he was fouled, but the referee is awarding a goal kick. Well, he comes out of this, I think he even runs into a Celtic player here, I think he does, I think he runs into Vekos. Every time a goalkeeper gets knocked in the box, they're always looking for a foul, but... Exactly. The referee was quite right there, Johnny Gould. was nowhere near that. Looking at the flight of the ball, just ran right into his own player. Oh, just again. A little bit casual by Maramchik, but he changes his attitude now, and he tries to chip the goalkeeper. Oh, what a piece of delicate, exquisite skill. At first, he was a little bit casual, then he got his opportunity, and look at the judgment of this. Well, that really is top, top skill. Great touch, great turn in initially. Lovely flight, and Jim delighted to see that come off the bar. Here's Vikos coming, and Aberdeen now looking sadly depleted. Good save by Leighton. That looked like a handball, it's up the line. Great clearance there. Celtic trying to put in the final nail here. Thwarted by that save, and look at this. Good defender gets bonus money for this. Yeah, good defending, great skill as well, great save by Jim Leighton initially, but good skill by Big Viduka to get the ball at least on target. He's trying to kill the game off now, Celtic. Petrov. Good ball by McNamara, and he got that little touch by Viduka. Well, he hasn't had many opportunities like this. Paul Bernard. Winters try to go forward. Away by Boyd. Now what can the big fella do now? He mesmerizes at times. Still has it. No, he judges. It. No, it's off the line again. The real guard action has been quite superb by Aberdeen. They haven't succumbed. They look as if they're heading for defeat. But again, Perry this time coming in. They're not crumbling. Well, that's a couple of times off the line. It's getting pretty close, isn't it? The big man teasing at the edge of the box. I didn't think he'd given this enough initially. A great run by Jackie Manamara. Beats Leighton. Someone's on the line to clear the danger. Jimmy McAllister. Yes, McAllister might have twisted the ankle. Looks as if uh, Celtic might make a substitution. There he is. Well, now we've been having uh, the man of the match competition, and I, I leave it to my colleague Alan McAnally to make that judgment. After the corner kick, we will deliver. A little bit of a push, free kick, and the man of the match, Alan. Yeah, well, I wish Viduka, uh, sorry, Moravchuk's chip had gone in because uh, it's maybe too easy to give it to him, and Viduka hasn't had the most outstanding game, but I think at the back, Tommy Boyd, for me, has been absolutely magnificent today. He's organised his team well, there was a bit of pressure on Celtic, there were heavy favourites to win this. And I think he has been absolutely superb today. Hasn't given the ball away and hasn't given any Aberdeen striker a single bit of room. So well, he is my man of the match. He is, he is quite apart from this game. Tommy is a commendable professional. Celtic on the attack again. Well, he hasn't got away from his markers. 
quite as cleanly as he had earlier on in the season. There he is. McNamara. Will be a shot again. Look. Jim going the wrong way. Meyer. Will be was in. That's a free kick. Yes, the referee wants the ball brought back. Yes, I was saying about Tommy Boyd, he's a commendable professional. He gives 150% for his, his club on and off the park. I think he's a, a perfect illustration of what a professional player should be. Simple, straightforward, gets into the game enthusiastically. Good, sound technical player. And Alan Stubbs about to come on. It looks like uh, Moravchik. Well, he's done enough today, hasn't he? It would have been a little bit special had the chip gone in. Well, he's... I don't know whether he's uh, at first a little bit puzzled, but I think he's accepted it now. Off he, off, uh, he comes. Kenny Dalglish in the background there. And Kenny will be both satisfied and relieved. There was an enormous pressure on him for this game. Another bit with Tom Boyd as well, just briefly, Archie, as you know, you've got big Alan Stubbs on the bench, who's good at the back, can play long passes, and he's coming on into midfield, and Tommy's done well to make that position his own again. Stubbs, a little bit of confusion there. Well, that's an excellent ball. Johnson took his eye off, but that was purely accidental, that challenge by Bellabed. Tackle from the rear, free kick. There might uh, be another substitution yet by Celtic. Berkovic might just be coming on now. Lovely turn by Winter. Couldn't get away though. Vikos. Now Petrov. Reset. Wants to go in his own. He's game for it. Oh, that was offside in any case. And unselfishly, he laid it off. And, you know, he had the goal gaping, Alan, he might have had a go at it. Or is it a defender taking cold feet? <laughs> yeah, possible. With the pace he was going at, I couldn't see any problem with going past the last defender either. You've got to get himself in a great position there, but he was just trying to get Big Viduka on the score sheet, and he didn't actually need to do that. Four extra minutes to be played in this game, stoppage time. The referee considers that a solid tackle again. That's a bit of ball and Paducah. Brilliant tackle there by Leighton. Well, he might be 41 years of age. But there's elasticity in these bones yet. Look at this. And a bit of steel as well. And there's a booking, I think, for McAllister. McAllister gets a booking. Reset, getting the attention and the Celtic supporters now, as you might expect, in full song. All they're waiting for now is the anticipation of a cup presentation, which of course we'll be bringing you. And I think Berkovic is about to come on. There he is, the Israeli international. 
special, and Tommy Johnson's delighted. Apart from being pleased at scoring goals, he's just delighted to be back in the Celtic team after the trials and tribulations he's had with injury. Oh, absolutely. Celtic probably contacted every team in every single league to get rid of him at one point. And he's managed to stand his ground. And all of a sudden, he's scoring a goal in the cup final. Fantastic. Here's Boyd. That's a useful ball indeed. Stubbs. Berkovic. Reset. Got in a bit of a fight for himself. Winters. Hemmed in there. Go to Celtic. Well, you know, if you were to pick an Aberdeen man of the match, I think he's in the, in the stand at the moment watching the game. Because I think Solberg was quite outstanding in the yeah. bench until he was sent off. Absolutely had to, but I think Stavrum he did well, really good a couple of times, but... I think Solberg's initial booking was pretty soft. I thought the referee had his cards out pretty early, not for anything particularly malicious. But they haven't performed particularly badly, Aberdeen, but certainly outclassed today yeah. by Celtic. Now Billy Bear. Berkovic with space. Looking for that ball to be played back inside. That's a great move by Baduka again, and the linesman has his flag up. Free kick. Celtic quite dominant now, thoroughly deserving this cup, which will be theirs in about a couple of minutes now after the stoppage time. Pure delight for that man there, who's suffered a lot of uh, agony himself in the past, both with Celtic and outside Celtic. But all credit to Aberdeen and their supporters, and I think particularly the supporters who've made an occasion of this. Not just a case of turning up, but they've got to inject spirit and enthusiasm into a cup final. And they've done exactly that. They take full some credit for it. Most of the singing has been done by the Celtic supporters, but Aberdeen down at the other end are far from silent as the players simply go through the motions now. The cup heading for Parkhead. Reset. Now McNamara. Robbie Winters, who's looked quite sharp, I must say, since he came on. But look at him, he's totally outnumbered there. Nobody giving him support. So what a season Celtic have had. They go to Ibrooks next week. They're still trying to keep their hopes alive, humiliated in the cup. And now the League Cup is almost theirs. A season of huge contrasts. And today we've seen the best and most positive as the final whistle goes. Celtic having won just 10 in the last 22 finals in the League Cup. Improved that record considerably, and there's one of the man. And of course, we'll be back for the presentation very shortly. And there we are, the scene at uh, Hamden Park, and I'm sure a delighted Kenny Dugliss can talk to us now. Kenny. You've led Celtic to a League Cup success. What does it mean to you and to the club? Well, I've only won two games. John Barnes did the rest. The players have done everything. Um, maybe a little bit nervous during the game, but they've come out where they win us 2-0. Does this obviously give a perfect platform for Celtic to go on to better things in the future? Well, if we know about history, have we? We'll look forward to the future. At least it gives us a support as a wee bit of pride in themselves tomorrow morning. And they're getting to work they are. But it's over in their hand. I did deserve that because it's not been that great this year. Um, so a little bit of pleasure for the day, but the last four tremendously hard to bring to them. I'm sure they'll enjoy it, I'm sure they deserve it. The players deserve it, because they work very hard to get it. There's a fabulous support here to, to show their backing for Celtic. Has that influenced you in any way now that you've de delivered the silverware to maybe take it on full-time? 
We get asked this every time. Again, like Jack Young, uh, we told you it'll be the end of March. I don't think this is the end of March yet. But certainly, any decision you make, you take the supporters into consideration. How much does it mean to you, person, to see the likes of Tommy Burns and Tommy Boyd, who was named Man of the Match, getting this reward? It's great for everybody. Obviously, everybody knows where Tommy's roots are, the both of them. So, it's great for everybody to win it. They all played well, Petro played particularly well, I thought. Um, Tommy Boyd, anybody, give it to anybody, as long as we've got a trophy, it doesn't really matter. But it's great for the people who are brought up in Glasgow, because they know they can appreciate it more, I think. Kenny, enjoy the moment. No problem. And Celtic about to be presented with the League Cup. Delighted support and a very satisfied looking Toby Boyd making his way up here. Well, you can afford just that little smile there. While the team that suffered a bit of ridicule and that infamous defeat that they had, I can relax a little tonight. Realising the League Cup trophy is theirs. Well, Tommy Boyd, uh, I see him occasionally in the area that I live in, and he's a delightful personality. There's the cup. The 11th time that will head for the Celtic boardroom. Every player deserving of it. You probably heard Kenny Douglas trying to uh, single out one or two of the players. He certainly mentioned Tommy Boyd. Petrov played very well. Reset the goal scorer. Because playing his part in midfield. There's Biolbi. Baduka maybe didn't have the kind of game he's been having recently. And we have the man of the match now, Tommy Boyd. Tommy, what does it mean to Celtic captain to lift the League Cup? I must be a feeling the last time we're here, so uh, I'm actually delighted, you know, for the lads, for the supporters. It's a trophy, and uh, everybody here is happy, you know, we're looking forward to it the rest of the season. A nervy game, but in the end, two goals settled it in your favour. Yeah, you see Aberdeen have improved. Uh, we probably didn't start off as well as what we should have, but uh, we get a victory, that's all that counts. It really was a game where you looked composed, you didn't have many problems to deal with at the back. No, but we had to do our job right, and we done it defensively, we did it. So eventually we got there, so, yeah, we're delighted with it. How much of a platform do you think this can provide for Celtic in the future? Well, obviously it's a start. You know, I hope so, I like the supporters are going to join themselves tonight, and uh, I'm sure we will. Tommy, you've got the cup, you also have Alan McAnally's vote for the CIS Man of the Match. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, very satisfied, the captain there, and the, the support now, luxuring in their victory. Celtic players, I think, always a sense of relief about the winning a cup, especially when you've had some traumas in the season before it. And now they can relax. Celtic supporters of all ages, all generations, packed into Hampden Park, enjoying these moments. There's nothing like savouring a cup final victory. You better believe it. I think they deserved it, though. I'm just watching down in front of me, Archie and Aberdeen going in, obviously, a little unhappy, but I don't think they can be too unhappy with the way they played. Certainly on the day, they were outclassed, but they've come a long way even to get to this cup final, but they had a chance coming here, but Celtic put them in their place, and I think they simply quite outclassed them. And now we have uh, the man who scored a very vital goal in the game, Tommy Johnston. Tommy, we won't keep you away from the celebrations too long. It's been a fantastic six months for you culminating in a goal. Yeah, tremendous, yeah. Uh, what a good month, you know, uh, go back on the side and to be playing today, you know, is an added bonus that with touch and goal that I'll be playing, but uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I've waited a long time, it's been three years since I've been up here, you know, and uh, as you can see, it's fantastic, love it. It's been an unbelievable set of events for yourself, some twists and turns along the way. Could you ever have envisaged this finish? No, not to be honest, no. Everybody knows about the previous regime and all that. Uh, it's great when Tommy Burns come back, uh, and I've got my chance now, so I'm going to enjoy it. 
Some people have suggested, obviously, you were in the shop window. Would you like to stay a longer time here at Celtic now? Yeah, I've still got another 18 months of my contract. Why not when it deals like this? Enjoy it, Tommy. Play more. And back go the Celtic team away down towards the traditional Celtic end at Hampden Park, where there has been much jubilation through the years. Celtic, at one stage, especially under the Steen era, almost made uh, Hampden Park the second home. There's Kenny at least the first time I, I clapped eyes on Kenny was in Malpensa Airport back on that uh, rather sad night when Celtic had uh, lost the European Cup and he was a young player carrying luggage at the time Alan and somebody said he's going to be some player and I said who <laughs> well <laughs> his, the rest is history some player is the biggest understatement I think of all time but I mean you can even see him in the interview I mean he doesn't give a great deal away Kenny at the best of times but I know for sure inwardly he will be absolutely delighted with that I mean, there's a massive gap in the league as far as I'm concerned I think the lead uh, the league will go to Rangers, but in there.